<clears throat> Mookie Betts now available. <laughs> First questions from Alana Rizzo. Go ahead. My goodness, you need a chiropractor? That sounded like yeah. a heart. <laughs> no, I felt amazing, actually. <laughs> On a couple of your amazing defensive plays, two days ago, you had to come in on the ball and scoop up that ball about an inch from the ground. And then last night, you have to move back on a ball and then time it right on the jump. Two-part question. Which is more difficult and which do you feel more comfortable doing? Um, I think coming in is, uh, yeah, I don't even know the answer. Uh, I would say probably going going back is probably more difficult. <clears throat> um, just just all the timing that you have to do, and then um, jumping and staying uh, staying healthy too, because you know I've been around that wall and I've gotten hurt a couple of times, and so I was able to come down and you know everything was fine. And the emotion that you showed is evident, but also obvious as to why you would feel that way. What does that do for you as a player, just knowing you make a catch like that, saving some runs off the board and being able to continue to, to ride that wave of momentum that you guys have been riding? Um, I think it's more of just, uh, you feel like you helped the team, um, you know, in, in the spot, in that spot right there. I feel like I did something good for the team. I know I hadn't <clears throat> done, you know, too much uh, with the bat. And so with me able to uh, affect the game with my glove is, Definitely, I'm going to take every advantage I can. What's it like right now in your head as a leader of this team, as you've had conversations with your teammates earlier today, game seven, you know, the fans are nervous, but what is the team feeling right now? I haven't even, I haven't even uh, seen the guys or really talked to them a whole lot yet. I'm sure we'll talk, uh, you know, as, as time gets closer, but right now we're just, you know, enjoying ourselves, getting, grabbing some food and just kind of preparing our bodies for, uh, for this game seven. Appreciate your time. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Next question is from Dave Vasse. Go ahead. <clears throat> Mookie, how were you guys able to get here to a game seven? How were you able to come back from uh, being down three to one? What do you believe is, is the biggest thing? I think just uh, being a resilient group. Um, you know, obviously we're pitched, pitched, uh, been pitching well, um, swinging the bat better, um, you know, obviously playing good defense. And so it's just going to uh, take that to, to get us to the World Series, and you know, we got to do it one more time uh, here today. Have you drawn upon that Mamba mentality that you talked about earlier in the season, <laughs> just throughout this series? Um, you know, I think it's kind of such second nature. Um, you know, I, I think uh, the way he viewed a lot of things is kind of how I do, and uh, you know, I, like he always says, the job's not finished. Um, you know, and it's not, you know, it's game seven today and, you know, we'll have to go out and uh, with that killer instinct and, 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 you know, play one, one role play to get to the World Series. Should I say. Thank you. Next question from Jorge Castillo. Go ahead. Hey, Muka, you mentioned going back is the toughest. Um, you had that ground rule, I think it was a ground rule double there down the line that one time you said that it was a you thought it was a bad play that you didn't make. I'm just wondering how uh, comfortable are you in this outfield? And how, do you find yourself, do you guys go out there like before a game and sort of like time everything and with the steps to like the, the wall and all that stuff? Like, how does that sort of go? Um, you know, I think when we first got here, you kind of uh, go through and, and go through those things in the outfield and, and whatnot. But um, I think it just takes some plays, um, you know, happening in the game for you to really learn the field and, like I said, I did make a I made a bad play on that uh, that one ball down the line, and so that was my uh, my learning experience. And now I know uh, how much room I have, um, you know, till I get to the wall, and I know kind of the angle the angles now and how to keep myself uh, safe. And then uh, you guys are facing Anderson again. Um, just we asked a couple of guys yesterday, you know, what you learned from Freed. What did you learn about Anderson in Game um, Two that you guys didn't know and, um, about? Uh, I mean, that was our first time facing him, so we pretty much learned everything. Um, you know, he, he pitched well, got himself out of a couple jams. Um, you know, he's got a, a really a plus fastball, <clears throat> plus change up, good breaking ball. I mean, he's he's got got what it takes, um, you know, but we have to just, uh, you know, find a way to scratch a couple of runs and, and uh, pitch well. Is it as easy as seeing a guy and just knowing so what he does and 
comes out to be a better sort of result or are you guys game planning differently? What's, what's the thinking going into that? Um, I mean, you can game plan however you want. I'm sure he's going to change up his game plan or he may, he may stick to the same since it was successful. You just don't know. Um, you know, that's the beauty of the game. You just kind of have to follow as, as the game goes. Next question from Scott Braun. Go ahead. Mookie, this is actually, I believe, your first game seven as a big leaguer. Were you one of those kids that would play out the scenarios, you know, game seven, three, two pitch in the nine, something like that? And also, do you think about any experiences from huge games in your 2018 run? Um, I think in 18, the, the, that, that year is not comparable. Um, you know, we didn't have any game sevens. We kind of uh, steamrolled through through everything that that year and this year is uh you know i when i was a kid you know you you do think you know three two bottom of the ninth game seven um but you know when you're in the yard you get retries and so uh, this this time you don't get a retry you know it's just uh one game and you gotta you know, put it everything on the line next question from ron cabner go ahead <clears throat> you know you've been asked about the the plays you've made defensively a lot do, do you think Sometimes defensive plays can bring, you know, even more momentum than an, than an offensive play. I mean, how does a really good play defensively kind of juice everybody up and, and bring momentum? Um, I mean, I think, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not sure, exactly sure if we score runs after both of the plays, but, you know, it definitely does does uh, give the pitcher confidence, give, give our guys some confidence to go back out and, you know, put up some more zeros because they, uh, they know the defense is going to take care of them. Um, and so I think uh, you, you can definitely create momentum, you know, however on, uh, on the baseball field. And, you know, this, uh, these last few times have been defensively. And then I got time for one more. Go ahead, Bill. Yeah, Mookie, you're facing another rookie pitcher tonight. You're probably going to have rookie, rookies pitching for you tonight. All across the postseason, rookie pitchers have really succeeded. Has it been easier for them? This postseason, in you know, playing at neutral sites with no fans or hardly any fans. Uh, and I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I'm not exactly sure what what's going through their head. But um, even though they're rookies, they're still good. You know, they're they still got some really good arms, and you can't uh, rookie or not, it, it doesn't matter. When when you have guys throwing 98, you know, with sliders and changeups and everything else, you know, they're they're going to be successful no matter what. So. Um, you got to tip your cap to the rookies that, that have been uh, throwing the ball well, no matter what the situation is. Thank you. Thanks, Mookie. Thanks, everybody.